Hey guys, welcome to a painting tutorial. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to paint Dark Angel Centurions. We start by prepping the models, cleaning, uh, cleaning them, uh, taking care of the mold lines, and building them to the point where further construction would interfere with painting. Next, I drill out a small hole in the uh, bottoms of the uh, feet and uh, use five minute epoxy resin to glue in safety or uh, excuse me, paper clips that will be used to pin the model to the bases later on. We then prime the models and all other pieces using Vallejo Surface Primer Gray. Here I actually made a mistake. Uh, I was going to start by just painting the lower half of the figures with Badger Minotaur dark green, but I ended up uh, just repainting the whole thing dark green. Now I'm hitting uh, the model from a 45 degree angle using Badger Minotaur Envy Green. Finally, I spray basically directly from the top uh, down with Badger's Minotaur Gremlin Green. Next, I paint all the parts that will be uh, a metallic color or just black uh, with Vallejo model color German Gray. After that's done, I paint the. I start painting the gun and grab amps, uh, basing it with Mephiston red, and then highlighting with Testor's uh, Model Master acrylic guard red. Now I paint all the metallic parts with Vallejo Model, uh, model Air Black Metal, uh, except for the uh, parts on the gun, some of the tubing, and the smokestacks, I paint just straight Vallejo Model Game Color Gun Metal.
I dry brush the black metal parts with just a little bit of gunmetal uh, just to kind of give a bit more contrast and make it shine a little bit more. Now for most of the uh, chest emblems and uh, emblems on the gauntlets uh, and things like that, I start by basing it with Leho Game Color Plague Brown. Highlight these colors with a mixture of Plague Brown and Vallejo Model Color Buff until I can do a final highlight of just pure uh, buff. Next I start by working on the Centurion uh, badge on the shoulders. I start by base coating them uh, with Vallejo model color neutral brown, or sorry, neutral gray, with a highlight of Vallejo model color light gray. All the scrolls, some of the skulls and purity seals are base coated with uh, rack art flesh. I then highlight them with a mixture of rack art flesh and Vallejo model color buff until I uh, do a final highlight of just pure Vallejo model color buff. Finally, some, uh, some of the trim and other uh, details um, are painted using Vallejo Liquid Gold Old Gold. Models are then uh, assembled for the uh, final assembly, so everything is uh, put together uh, in preparation for uh, the wash.
models are given a coat of glossy varnish. This will help uh, lower the surface tension for the oil wash that I've used uh, and, and also will help uh, the decals adhere. While the gloss coat dries, I go ahead and make the bases uh, using just cork sheets that I uh, tear apart and then hot glue to the bases. are primed using Vallejo Surface Primer German Grey. Next I just use kind of a light or neutral gray to dry brush the bases. Finally, using Secret Weapon Terracotta Earth Pigment Powder, I mix it with a little bit of water that I then just kind of uh, dab and pool onto uh, the rock bases. These will later get a flat coat to seal the pigments onto the base. Using some Windsor & Newton uh, Van Dyke Brown and Black Oil Paints, I mix them with Mineral Spirit uh, till I get a good wash consistency. I apply the washes to the, uh, the model uh, using the black for basically all the model and the Van Dyke Brown for all the bone, uh, gold, and scroll work. I let the uh, wash dry for about 30 minutes and then I go back using a makeup applicator and some clean mineral spirit to uh, clean up the model. Finally comes to the point where we pin the model to the base. Uh, I use I press down with the model to get uh, guide holes. I drill out uh, where the model will go. Once the model is basically pinned to the base, I fold the uh, paper clip over, clipping off any excess, and then I use 5 minute epoxy uh, resin to uh, cement the pin and basically the model to the base.
here's the final result. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Be sure to like and subscribe and leave any questions or comments in the comment section. And also be sure to go check out our Facebook page and I'll see you next time.